Alright guys, so now what we want to do is we want to be able to delete these contacts and we're just going to add a little delete button over here um, and then we'll be close to wrapping up. The only other thing we probably want to do is add an edit button as well to go and edit it. But let's do delete now. This is going to be super fast. Um, so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go back to our table which is in the index.php. So if you go to views, contacts, index.php and we had this empty TD down here so now it's time to add something to that and it's what we're going to do is actually just add um, we're going to add a link okay and what we're going to do is uh, it's going to be a button so let's add a class here of button and we'll make this uh, button danger to make it red and we'll make it real small so button extra small and we want it to go to our project root Ooh. and then contacts uh, delete okay and then we also need to send it the ID so we'll do contact ID and that should be good. Um, the other thing that we want to do here, let's just um, break here and give it the delete button. Um, let's make it look kind of nice and do a glyphicon here. So we'll do, or an icon, but um, glyphicon, and then we'll do uh, glyphicon remove and uh, after that we'll just say delete so let's see what that let's see what this uh, button looks like real quick refresh the page yep now we have these delete buttons and they all have the IDs okay, that's what we want but we want some sort of confirm thing so um, let's add one more thing here let's do on click and this is just probably want to do something better than this, but um, we're just going to do if not confirm, are you sure? Then what we're going to do is we're going to return false. So let's try that out. Refresh here. So it just pop does a window confirm here and we're going to say cancel so it closes that if I go ahead and click it and then click OK it actually sends me th to the delete action with this 2 here and we haven't created that controller so there's an uh, error message here so that's going to be super easy let's go ahead and create that again that's just going to be in the contacts controller and we need a new action and this one will be a public function delete action and we're going to pass in the ID and are you guys ready for this this is only going to be a few lines of code so we need to find the contact so what we're going to do is say contact equals this contacts model find by ID and user ID that we created earlier and we're going to cast this to an integer and that's just a little bit of security because since this is getting passed in from the uh, URL we just want to make sure that it's a number so we're just casting that to an int and then we'll do current user ID and then we're gonna say if not contact then we're just going to uh, redirect them contacts um, else what we're going to do so maybe we'll stuff that in else I don't have to but we will else we're going to do contact delete and then we're going to redirect them back to contacts that's it guys. 
Um, actually, we can reverse some of this logic and just say if contact, then we can do contact delete. And then we can actually, outside of that if statement, since we're directing them back to the same place each time, um, so we can actually get rid of quite a few lines of code there. So basically all we're doing is we're going to find the contact by the contact ID and the user ID. And if that returns something, we're going to delete it. And then no matter what, we're going to redirect them back to contacts. So this should actually work unless we have an error somewhere. So we'll refresh here and I do have an error. Line 50. Because I don't have a semicolon there. So let's just go back to contacts here. And I'm going to try to delete John Doe. So delete, hit OK. And it happened so fast you didn't see it, but um, it deleted John Doe. Now let's go back to the database and let's just make sure John Doe is still there. And he is. But now deleted is set to 1. So he's not showing in our table. So he is soft deleted. Um, so let me just show you what would happen if we didn't have soft delete. Let's go back to contacts and up here at the top, let's just change soft delete to false. And let's go back uh, to our application. We're gonna go contacts add and we're gonna add a Jane Doe. And then we'll delete Jane Doe. And remember we've just turned soft delete off. So if I hit delete, hit okay, it still removes it from the table, but if we actually go to the database, there's no Jane Doe, and that's because it actually deleted the row. So we don't really want that. We want to be able to recover this data, so that's why we're doing soft delete. So let's go back and turn soft delete back to true, which if that's set, it just adds a Boolean to that column. That's it guys, that's delete. Uh, in the next video we will edit and we'll probably be wrapping up at that point.